Today is National Dog Day, and what better way to celebrate than working out to help rescue dogs? Barbells for Bullies is a nationwide program committed to helping dogs in need, and they do it by hosting fundraiser at fitness competitions in cities all across the U.S. This weekend, the initiative made it right here to San Antonio. In this week's New Week, New You, Max Massey takes us to CrossFit Unshaken, where people were pumped to help save some local pups. Lifting, tossing, and jumping. All for a good cause. We're the only breed specific pit bull rescue in San Antonio, which is crazy because pit bulls get euthanized more than any other dog at our local animal care services. Izzy Norwood rescued her first pit bull six years ago, and she hasn't looked back. We do a lot of local dog friendly events in general, but usually it's just kind of an amalgam of all different types of breeds. So we're really excited that they were wanting to partner with us just for the bullies because we're <laughs> rooting for the underdog here. This weekend, CrossFit Unshaken invited athletes, families, and local vendors to work out for a greater purpose. They say Barbells for Boys is a cause they knew people would want to help out and one that would be a great motivation to fuel their fitness. It's all about changing stereotypes and stigmas associated with some of these uh, breeds that have been deemed aggressive when all, they, they just want to be loved just like us, man. Since the formation of the organization back in 2016, Barbells for Bullies has donated more than $75,000 to local rescues and local initiatives. This weekend's event will help further the effort locally through the Alamo City Pitbull Rescue and Rehab Group, which helps save about 2,000 dogs every year. So we're 100% donation based. Um, we are also a rehab rescue, a medical rehab rescue. So we'll get heartworm positive dogs almost all the time because our state bird's a mosquito. That's how it's transmitted. And that's about $900 a pop for heartworm treatment for every dog. Um, we also take dogs that have been hit, mange, emaciation, abuse cases. So that money goes a long way. This is an extremely important event for Alamo City Pitbull. Well, but the goal doesn't end today. There are still so many ways that you can help out. We need people to be willing to open up their homes in order to save more dogs, because the more fat fosters we have, the more lives we can save. So every time we pull a dog, it goes into a foster home. The foster learns that dog. We vet all of our applicants, and then the foster takes them and does a full home check and meet and greet. So that way we're putting balanced dogs back in the community to kind of reverse that stigma. <laughs> Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.